Thank you, uh, Madam Chairwoman and the ranking member and members of the committee uh, for the opportunity to testify here today in front of the select committee. From sea level rise to the location of power plants to fossil fuel extraction to the urban heat island effect, the inequities from our energy system and who bears its consequences are everywhere. People of color are on the front lines of this issue. We are hit first and worst. We need a climate bill that rises to the scale of both the climate crisis and the damage from environmental racism that impacts my district and the districts like it across the country. The best way for us to understand these challenges and how to overcome them is to meet environmental justice communities where they are. Not everyone can make it here to Washington, D.C. for a hearing or a meeting with their representative. I appreciate that the Select Committee has conducted a field hearing in Boulder, Colorado on local and state solutions. And going forward, I want to encourage you to prioritize field hearings in EJ communities. In particular, I have a couple of ideas for field hearings in my very district in South Los Angeles that could both illuminate our local challenges and provide useful information for federal climate policy that can address these kinds of issues across the country. One possibility is to hold a field hearing with the Port of Los Angeles and community environmental leaders in my district. We have one of the most ambitious ports in the country when it comes to reducing emissions. At the same time, the port is a significant source of air and climate pollution, and environmental groups in my district have strong views on the best paths forward for the port to achieve zero emissions as quickly as possible. And these are challenges that face ports throughout the country so we could apply what is learned there uh, to different parts of the country and incorporate it into any legislation. An additional possibility is a hearing on a just transition away from fossil fuels and what it means for communities like mine. We deal with pollution from oil refineries and ongoing urban oil drilling right in people's backyards, which has a direct impact on the quality of the air we breathe. At the same time that the fossil fuel industry has a disproportionate footprint in minority communities and those of color, rather, and those that are low income, these industries often provide jobs, including union jobs, to my constituents. As we work to unwind the fossil fuel economy, we need insights on how to provide for a just transition for workers in the fossil fuel industry. I would welcome the opportunity to work with the Select Committee on these and other ideas for a field hearing in my district as part of the process for crafting climate solutions that leave no community behind. Thank you again for the opportunity to testify today.